All right. Let's bring the church up in the house, my friends. We are here Saturday. Uh, a little after 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time here on the air. We're a wildlife ministry podcast. That's what we're here live in the Word of God, my friends. Sharing the scriptures and so much more. Hope you got your Bibles out, my friends, because we're going to go into uh, the book of Philippians, chapter 3 and 4. Close that out. As I look at my notes, we're going to continue Paul's letters to teaching scriptures, Romans to Philemon. As like I said, we're going to go through uh, Philippians chapter 3 and 4. And uh, just wanted to get through that part. Then we'll jump over on the next podcast over to Colossians and then Philemon. And then you know what's coming up. Can't wait for this. Uh, the book of Malachi chapter 1 through 4. And then as we go into the intertestamental period, the 400 years of silence in between the Old and New Testaments, my friends. Excited about that. All right, hope you're having a great Saturday. And got the coffee rolling. Notes are here, highlighters. We're ready to go, my friends. That's how you agitate the devil. You keep moving forward. So, uh, that's what I'm doing. Back on here at the Spreaker Studio uh, audio podcast. I just felt like you had to take the devil a little bit here so uh hopefully it won't be coughing too bad but i still got them coughs and uh you know that's not been good and dropping my stuff all right my friends let's get into the service glad you guys are here and uh, appreciate your time stopping by the audio podcast at the spreaker channel Let's get moving, shall we? Right into the Word. Let's go into prayer. <coughs> and uh, let's go ahead and open up with that. And then, you know, my usual uh, deal here. we got the uh, shout-out list. I'm going to go ahead and do the Lord's Prayer, Armor God. And, of course, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation and Serenity Prayer. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and open up with prayer. Let's get into this podcast back on Saturday live just like I said a little after 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, so let's open up the prayer let's get going in the new studio now I wasn't like I said I was going to jump on the YouTube channel but I'm going to do that tomorrow uh, I still got a couple of technical bugs to work out so you guys can catch the video part of the podcast tomorrow and I'll post that on the Facebook page so let's open up a prayer let's get into it I'm glad you guys are here. All right, Heavenly Father, I just come before you right now. I'm so grateful for these opportunities to be in your word, share your word, and get your message out, Father God. For everything that you've provided and have provided and are providing, I thank you. I I definitely give that over to you. You know, as I've been going through this cold and uh, this uh, flu symptoms, I, (coughs) I give it over to you. You know, we're just not built for all that. And so I want to, you know, just thank you through this, uh, all this infirmities and all this stuff going on. I know that's from the uh, enemy trying to shut this down. And, well, that's not going to work. So as I keep moving forward, keep giving it over to you. I thank you every day for every opportunity, every uh, chance to share these words uh, with everyone. And I uh, appreciate that, God. Uh, again, always as usual, I do want to thank uh, our. You know, I want to lift up my family, my friends, everybody hearing and watching and listening to these podcasts. I want to lift them up, whatever situation they're dealing with. I want to give it over to, to you, God, and uh, you know, lift them up and and uh, you know, just just lift them up, God. I know they're going through a lot and situations that are hard for them and so I want to lift them completely up give it to you Father God I thank you so much for everything and that's all you do, usually do uh, as I do another message I do another podcast God thank you so much in your son's precious name in Jesus name I pray amen amen all right let's get that church in the house All right, 
Well, let's go right straight into it. No time to waste. I'm not playing, my friends. Let's go ahead and go into the Lord's Prayer. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into a couple of things here tonight. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do this right now. Uh, Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, thank you for my blessings. I know you, Jesus, Son of God, died on the cross for me so I can be forgiven for my sins and receive the Holy Spirit. Please forgive me for my sins and follow me with your Holy Spirit. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness as I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, please show me my purpose in life and how I can better serve you. Thy will be done, not my will. I pray this prayer, Jesus, in your holy name. Amen. All right, my friends. Good stuff. You know, we got to have that every single day. Well, you know, i got to go into the armor of God. So go ahead and get your Bibles. Make sure you got them. Uh, take a look at uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Go ahead and get your, make sure you got your Bibles out. We're having a Bible study tonight, friends. Uh, actual full, uh, well, not quite full, but uh, I think I've got enough energy to give you a little bit of time here. So thank you for spending your time with me tonight on this Spreaker channel, my friends. Amen. <coughs> All right, well, you can tell. Uh, it's cold's not gone away, but, you know, that's how you agitate, agitate the devil. Uh, you just keep pushing through and perseverance. So I am going to take a look. Speaking of that, we're going to take a look at Psalm 34 in just a little bit here. But let's go ahead and get the armor of God on. Uh, we definitely need our armor, uh, my friends. It's, you know... We do. All right, armor of God. Uh, finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. While we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against, watch this, friends, principalities, powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, because there is more to do, my friends. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith we, uh, ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. As we segue right into 1 Peter 5, 8, 9, for your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Well, that's why we have to have our armor on every single day, friends. Hit the ground with your feet on the floor, thank God, and put your armor on. All right. Well, and as uh, we go into 17, all right, uh, take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God, our Bible, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. All right, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly, as I ought to speak. <coughs> All right, so sorry about the coffin, friends. Uh, I'm going to be doing that throughout the, hopefully not too bad, uh, throughout the podcast, but still have that cough. It has decided to hang on for a little while longer, but, uh, you know, that's the, that's what the devil thinks. Anyway, I'm not putting up with that mess, right? No way. <coughs> no 
way am I going to tolerate that mess. All right, let's go ahead and go into, I want to go real quick here, uh, salvation prayer, the sinner's prayer salvation, of course. Uh, before we go into the main subject, the main scriptures here. Uh, Heavenly Father, I know that I am a sinner, and I know Jesus died for my sins on the cross in my place. Please forgive my sins. I turn from them in repentance and receive Jesus Christ into my life as my Lord and Savior. I choose to follow him from this day forward. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, precious saints. All right, so get a hold of me. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Yahoo.com is the place to be if you need that word, my friend. So thank you guys again for being here on the audio portion of the podcast tonight. Uh, as I'm in the new studio, uh, again, like I said, hanging out at Spreaker.com. All right, so let's go ahead and do the uh, shout-out list, friends. Don't be shy. Step on in. Come on. You know how to get a hold of me. Uh, again, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast, uh, yahoo.com. That is the official email for the ministry page, and you guys can get a hold of me 24-7. Amen and amen. <coughs> All right. Well, of course, we got everybody, uh, you know, up front on the... Uh, visitors, the family, friends on the shout out list here, the podcast channels worldwide. Appreciate you guys. Sisters in Christ all over the place. You guys have been amazing and I appreciate your continued support. You know, of course, everybody over at uh, my CBN, Instagram, still praying for Mama Carrie and her family, of course, uh, daughter Marty. Appreciate that. Uh, so check that out if you can. And we got Brother Mark hanging out on Facebook page. Friends, uh, Christian Watchers of the Heavenly Signs, name change for the new year. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Brother Mark, appreciate you always. Uh, my good friend, Miss Jackie, over at Twitter, Periscope, Facebook Live, Monday through Sunday, uh, doing that midnight scope. Always got our prayer requests open for you, friends, if you, you feel the need. We'll, we'll talk to you and appreciate that, too. All right, Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries, YouTube, Facebook Live. <coughs> Again with the cops. I'm going to get through it. All right, Miss Jada France, and I'm lying, praying. Uh, of course, everybody here at Spreaker, appreciate you guys all over the world. That's pretty amazing. Uh, and I, that's why I keep pushing this message, keep doing these uh, podcasts. And again, like I said, sometime tomorrow, uh, I'll be going back on the YouTube Live channel. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, I got in here. I got another message for tonight. I also got the Blog Talk radio channel set back up and running. And so I will be getting back into that as we double up on these podcast channels. Uh, surely not going to give the enemy any time to uh, sit and think about anything. So, except what he's going to do next, which it's just not going to work, right? All right. <coughs> so, um, all right, well, let's go ahead and do the, uh, what do we got? Uh, the serenity prayer, friends. Let's go ahead and do that. I want to share that with you. And again, uh, apologies uh, about the uh, coughing. Uh, that's been happening all week long. That's why I've been out, not doing too much, trying to rest my throat and rest my voice. But I uh, just felt, you know, felt the... I need to preach, my friends. Amen. All right. All right, let's do the serenity prayer here, friends. Uh, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, taking as he did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen. Well, there you go. Got to have that serenity prayer. My friends, now I did want to go ahead, because uh, like I always do, I've got so much to cover. 
Uh, I am going to hit Psalms 91 here in just a little bit out of the Torah. But I did want to get to uh, Psalm 34. As I was, uh, you know, going through my notes, uh, this one always, as usual, always pops out. So I wanted to share uh, Psalm 34 with you before I get into the other one. <coughs> I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Ephesians 5.20 Again out of the King James. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Psalm 119.74 O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. So if you're ever feeling like you're completely alone, my friends, and nobody's there, well, all you got to do is look to your word, right? Amen. Side scripture is going to be Matthew 7, 7. Verse 5, They looked unto him, and were enlightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Amen. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Second Samuel, and it's going to be over 22, verse 1. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about uh, them that hurt, uh, fear him, right? And delivereth them. As my notes are. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Psalm 2.12 O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Psalm 31.23 The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want anything or any good thing, right? And in 11, Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you uh, the fear of the Lord. Psalm 32, 8. The, what man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? 1 Peter 3, 10. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. And the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are upon upon unto their cry. Uh, Job 36, verse 7. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, uh, to cut off their remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Psalm 3, 6. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. John nineteen thirty six. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Uh, Psalm uh, 94, 23. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Well, there you go, friends. That just uh, came to me. I had to share that, of course, as I usually do. So let's go ahead and go on over to... Uh, Psalm 91, again, going back to my uh, Torah, and uh, I'll give you a minute to go ahead and find it. So, how was your Saturday, my friends? Have you guys had a great Saturday? Well, I have, and I uh, appreciate you guys as usual, as always. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just been a great Saturday, There's lots of resting and working on notes today but i wish you guys uh well and hope you had a great uh relaxing weekend so far as we move on into uh the weekend here 
Sunday, tomorrow morning, wake up, God on your mind, God on your heart, go to church, my friends. Now, like I said, I'll be doing an early service on uh, YouTube Live with Blog Talk Radio. I'll post that on the Facebook page. You guys can find that at Rick Warren at Facebook.com. Uh, <coughs> so, that will be uh, posted either tonight or tomorrow morning. And uh, so you guys can go ahead and go ahead and join me for that uh, church service uh, live blog talk radio again and YouTube live. Finally getting back on the air there uh, after a little while of breaking. You know, trying to rest, get through this cold, get through this coughing. Uh, it has not been fun, but uh, you know, I always bounce back. I'm resilient. God's got a plan. Alright, so let's, uh, as I'm looking at this, let's go ahead and go into Psalm 91 out of the Torah. My friends, you know I always give that to you. I like to, I like to share that before we get into the main subject tonight. <coughs> Alright, Psalm 91 out of the Torah, my friends. He that dwells in the secret place of El Elyon shall abide under the shadow of El Shaddai. I will say of Yahuwah, He is my refuge and my fortress, my Elohim. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. And He shall cover you with His feathers. There you go, His promise right there. Uh, you know, He said He would never leave us nor forsake us, friends. He's always there. We're the ones that run from him. We're the ones that kind of walk away. And so, you, know, you got to just stick it out. Keep, keep going through it. Keep fighting. You know, even in the trials. All right. I'm going to catch up on a couple of quick notes here again. All right. Give me just a quick second here. Let's go back to four. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler, and you shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made Yahuwah, which is my refuge, even El Elyon, your habitation. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to guard you. In all your ways, they shall bear you up in their hands. Amen. Again with the notes. All right, there we go. On their hands, right? Lest you dash your foot against the stone. All right. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. Of the young lion and the dragon shall you trample under or trample under feet. There we go. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my Yahusha. Well, there you go, precious friends. All right. Well, I told you this won't be too long of a podcast. I am trying to save my voice for tomorrow uh, as I'm getting back on uh, the YouTube channel live. And uh, as well as getting back, finally back on blog talk radio all right give me just a second here friends we're going to go into our main subject our main sermon message tonight uh, as i continue with paul's letters the teaching scriptures continue over uh in the book of philippians 
And we're going to close that out with uh, three and four. And again, sorry about this, friend. I'm actually running the highlighter over chapter three and four, so I know what I'm seeing. All right, let me grab a cup of coffee here. And, uh, yeah, again, thanks for hanging out with me here, friends. Live on the air, Spreaker.com. You are in the house of the Lord, and boy, is it good to be in the house of the Lord, right, my friends? All right, so, again, I hope you guys can hear me okay on the Bluetooth headset tonight. So, trying this out, seeing how it works out. All right, go to your Bible. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Philippians as we close out uh, chapter 3 and 4. And again, I'm going into the Torah. Uh, so, hang on, hold on, my friends. It's been a long time. Well, it's been at least a week or so. <coughs> so, and again, sorry about the coughing here, but... You know, we will get through it together, my friends. I appreciate you guys again. Uh, so let's go into it. Let's get into chapter 3 and 4, book of Philippians, Torah. All right, family, my brethren, rejoice in Yahuwah. To write the same things to you, to me, indeed, is not grievous. But for you, it is safe. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers, and beware of the circumcision of the flesh alone. For we are the circumcision, which worship Yahuwah in the Rohak, or the Spirit, and rejoice in Yahusha, Hamashiach, and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinks that he has, whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more, uh, circumcised of the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, uh, and Abra of the Abraham, as touching the Torah, a parashite. Again, out of the Torah, my friends. All right. Concerning zeal, persecuting the called out assembly, touching the righteousness which is in the Torah, blameless, but what things are gained to me, or were gained to me, those I counted loss for Hamashiach. Ye doubtless and count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahusha Hamashiach, my Adonai, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Hamashiach, and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the Torah, or the law, but that which is through the faith of Hamashiach, the righteousness which is of Yah by faith, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection, amen, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made uh, com uh, conformable uh, unto his death. In 11, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that, for which also I am apprehended of Yahusha Hamashiach. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting these things which are behind and reaching forth unto these or those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahuwah in Yahusha Hamashiach. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything, ye be otherwise minded. Yahuwah shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, where to we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, and let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so, as ye have uh, us for an example. For many walk, 
as we go into 18, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you, even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach, whose end is destruction, whose Elohim is their belly, and whose glory is uh, in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our conversation, or our conversion, our conversation, there we go, is in heaven, from whence also we look for self, uh, our, uh, for the Savior. There we go. Uh, Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. That new creature, that new man, right? According to the working whereby he is able to even to subdue all things unto himself. All right, friends, let's go right into four. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown. So stand fast in Yahuwah, my dearly beloved. I beseech Yodius and beseech, uh, beseech Sintashe that they be of the same mind in Yahuwah. And I entreat you also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the Vesora, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the Sefer, or the Book of Life. All right. Rejoice in Yahuwah always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Yah is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto Yah. And the peace of Yahuwah, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahusha Hamashiach. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, and whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. And those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. And Yahuwah, Shalom, shall be with you. But I rejoiced in Yahuwah greatly. All right, let me stop there for a second. Let me grab some quick cup of coffee. As I, I felt them cough starting to start again. All right. <coughs> that now, at the last care of me has flourished again, wherein ye were all so careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengthens, or strengthens me. There we go. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. And now, ye Philippium, know also that in the beginning of the Basora, or the law, when I departed from Macedonia, no assembly communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but she only. For even in Thessalonica, or Thessalonica, ye set one, or sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire a fruit that may be a bound to your account. But I have all out of bound. I am full, having received of uh, Aphrodite, 
the things which were sent from you, an odor of sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to Yahuwah, Amen. But uh, Maya shall supply all your need according his, uh, to his riches in glory by Yahusha Hamashiach. Now unto Yahuwah and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Salute every Kadashai in Yahusha Hamashiach. The brethren which are with me greet you. All the Kadashim salute you, chiefly that are of uh, Kesar household, or the Kesar's household. The grace of our Adonai, Yahusha HaMashiach, be with you all, as we say, Amin, or Amen. All right, my friends, well, there you go. So, that will, uh, we'll start with the next one tomorrow. It's going to be Colossians, my friends. We are closing down and getting through. Uh, it has been a great study. You know how the Spirit throw th throws things at me. Uh, so stand by, stay tuned, friends, because uh, oh, we're just getting warmed up. We're just getting started here, my friends. Amen. All right, well, let's see. You know I've always got something for you. Let's go ahead and I'll throw a couple more scriptures out at you. And uh, I want to save my voice for tomorrow uh, for the YouTube channel. I'll be on there for about an hour and a half. So lots of talking, my friends. You know I always got something for you. <coughs> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go into our notes. And again, I hope you guys can hear this okay. I hope it's not too loud for you. Kind of switched out, put the wireless on again. All right, to see as I got a, finally got a new set of wireless headsets and uh, some Bluetooth. <coughs> so, all right, may the Father bless you with a growing assurance of His great love for you. May His grace and mercy fill you with unending peace. May your heart grow ever more tender. To the Spirit's leading. And may you rest in the truth that He works all things together for good. In seasons of adversity, now watch this, friends. <coughs> in seasons of adversity and pain, may you be overwhelmed by His presence and protection. And may the companions of health and wisdom be yours in abundance. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Take a look at number 624. <coughs> All right, friends, that's got to be a sign to stop because it's starting to get a little agitated. <coughs> and I don't want to sit here and cough all night with you. So, I appreciate you guys. That's it for me. All right. Have a good night, friends. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Carly here live in the studio. Spreaker.com live. Amen, friends. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.